Good morning. I'm Helene from the YMI Insurance Agency, and we're here at one of our clients, Into You Arts. They've allowed us to come in to take a tour of their facility. Join us. And I'm Sharon, the Commercial Lines Advisor, tagging along for the tour today. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good to see you, Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for having us. We're excited. So come on in. This is our main waiting area, and this is kind of where the parents can come before classes, the students. Um, get ready for classes and obviously this is our main counter where we have both of our um, uh, Fusion Center program and Into Arts. So when we moved into this building that's when Into Arts came about and uh, we were now able to offer something for everyone. So siblings can come in and a brother can go up to guitar or down to art class while a sister's in hip hop or ballet or um, a little infant could be in uh, music together with Miss Adriana. So lots that's of options. Perfect. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Um, so primarily Music Together is zero to five. Most of our other group classes are anywhere from two and a half or creative dance all the way up to 18. And then we have a program for students that are still out, right out of college, 18 and up, and then an adult program as well for um, dance classes specifically. Mm -hmm. yes. So I have been certified and licensed through a big program called Music Together. Uh, Music Together is an internationally worldwide recognized program that offers um, early childhood education, music instruction. And so that's a course that we have to be licensed and use their trademark correctly to offer here. We have to get our site approved and everything. But that's a program that has been always thriving because it speaks for itself. So um, it's been one of my favorites to teach the one class I will never stop teaching until I can't bend on my knees. So. <laughs> um, and it's what's so lovely about it is even during the pandemic, I knew that we had a safe space for my child who was six months at the time to take a class where I knew he was getting an amazing 45 minute experience once a week. And that's it. And I tell the parents, it's just 45 minutes. lesson or sometimes an hour but mainly 30 minutes because it's just time for them and it's beyond just teaching music we've saved a handful of students and it's so hard to say um, but the performing arts and, and visual arts have been an outlet for these students everywhere and even online virtual lessons. I look forward to these 30 minutes, Miss Adriana, because I get to see you and to oh, sing. And I, I, my heart is just filled with joy because if it's just that 30 minutes a week that I can give them a little bit of that boost that everything will be okay, then I know I did my job. Okay, so this is another studio. Um, so like I said, the program has grown. So as you can see, Mr. Max is an amazing vocal teacher. He was trained by Bob Marks and his parents were on Broadway. So he is a joy to have here. He's um, an alumni of Stroudsburg High mm -hmm. and he um, directs their high school musical and their show choir. So he's a big part of the Stroudsburg area. We're so happy to have him. But as you can see, he is constantly teaching amazingness and, uh, you know, the trachea and, you know, all the forms of the voice <laughs> while Mr. Dave or Mr. Matt are teaching um, or Mr. Joe teaching percussion um, and guitar lessons happen in here just one-on-one. -on -one, so. 
So come on into Studio A. Um, this class is used for a lot of the younger students as well who um, they really thrive in a space that is big enough but not too tiny. <laughs> Hi. And um, normally this is where a Music Together program is held along, uh, along with many other classes. Um, my sister has many classes in here from acro to uh, ballet, tap, and um, a lot of hip hop classes a lot of jazz, and um, our musical theater class happens in here and in there as well. So I'll take you into the bigger studio next. This was used for um, a black box theater, so we're still striking some of the set, but the last two performances, we had the audience here, this was our orchestra, and then that was um, our uh, full stage for the students and uh, professionals. So in Matilda, we had a great collaboration of local, local professionals. Um, the director at Shami Playhouse was our Mrs. Wormwood, so that was really exciting to collaborate. And um, our own staff, so Mr. Joey played um, the doctor and a handful of other, other roles, and he was also the director. And then I actually stepped in out of, t it's been 10 years, but I stepped in as Miss Honey, so it was really exciting. But yeah, so this is the space that we use, sure. and we're their safety net where they can say, I'm not okay. Right. and I need you to help me. And normally the performing arts just has that way of allowing students to feel comfortable, to let out what they're really going through. Especially the post the pandemic, we've had a, right. an immense amount of emotional situations. Sure. Um, from dancing, because that involves your entire body, from uh, you know singing, because you're using a physical instrument, from their artwork, so much is is telling us what's going on through their artwork. And it's hard because sometimes we have to take that back at home and we have to say we're concerned. Sure. But if we are just a little piece of the puzzle that helped them get through a hard time, then we did our job. Absolutely. And then I'll take you quick into Studio C. And everyone who comes and collaborates with us, this is one of their favorite rooms. So we're super proud of it. My sister brings in a lot of professional artists around the world. She lives in New York and they teach the students. This is the Central Pennsylvania Digital Learning Foundation. Um, they have state approved um, to use the facility during the daytimes and have an on-site for their, um, they're also able to take live classes. So at two o'clock today, I'm gonna to take a handful of those students and teach them in a class called Music and Movement. And that gives them their credit for physical education and music. Uh, post pandemic, we were so excited to get back to classes <laughs> and like in person classes. These students were so thrilled to paint. Miss Sharon let them create their own um, Jackson uh, uh, Pollock <laughs> wall. So they loved it. They went home with a lot of paint on their bodies, but yeah. this is their masterpiece. And we might be adding more um, throughout the year. We also had another um, language arts, uh, a space for acting. Um, so in here, um, this space has now been, has grown. We used to have all of the art stuff in here, but we have kind of moved some things in here formally. A lot of um, our acting kids can come here, use the board. Yeah, they get to create their own, their own show. So they just did the Polar Express, the ballet, and they actually toured, they did their first dance tour and brought that show to Philadelphia last weekend. Oh so goodness. one weekend was here in Stroudsburg and we did at Notre Dame. And then the following weekend, we brought uh, most of the cast. Only 10 kids couldn't come. And it was phenomenal. The parents were like, what? <laughs> They're doing their first tour. Yeah. And some of the little ones, they were as young as my niece, who's six. And it was phenomenal. So yeah. we're really excited. So Miss Fran for sure had a very big vision and, and dream and goal. And it's obviously in fruition with mm -hmm. the charter and expanding to Philadelphia. So we're on our way. We're only beginning. Set pilot. Say bye. Merry Christmas. Say bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, oh. Not at all. Do you want to blow a kiss? Do you too. <laughs> Bye. Merry Christmas. Say bye. It's exciting to get new um, families and families that have never been here. A lot of families move from the cities. And so they're, hey, we're new here. What can we do? And when they come in here and see what we have, it's so exciting. Because then they normally sign up for everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jenna, I'd like to talk to you about our relationship. Um, we do insure the business for you. And I remember when you got started, we talked about the coverages that you would need. And I think with your guidance and knowledge, it was easy to, to be able to trust somebody. I feel that when I walked in there and felt like it was another small home environment that I could just 
feel that I could trust you right off the moment I met you. It was a warm, welcoming yes. Well, sorry, and I appreciate that. Yes, well, thank you. Um, and we've been, we've been insured with you for five years now, yes. going on six. So, and yes. and our agency, um, and and again, just supporting another local business and someone who really understands when um, you're driving and you said, "Oh, I love your new sign." <laughs> <laughs> something that small is so touching because it doesn't make you feel like a number. So, right.